So the first question I have for you, Dr. Uh, Battalora, is how did you get into all of this? Well, it, it really started in, I was a graduate student, a PhD student at Northwestern University, and um, as I was conducting research for my dissertation, I was looking into various legal prohibitions in marriage. And so I met the law library downtown and digging into laws, and, and I, was, I spent the, you know, days exploring U.S. law, and then I was going back and back into colonial law. And at some point, something weird <laughs> triggered in me, but sure. I, I, didn't, I couldn't put my finger on it. Like I, I actually had to spend a few days like digging through these laws. Um, and then I woke up at like three in the morning. I was like, oh my God, that's it. Like white, white people, this reference to a group of humanity like appears at a very specific point in time, but wasn't there before that. And in my own experience of being labeled a white person, like that was really shocking to me because right. I thought that people called white existed as long as those of us had low levels of melanin in our system. Right. You know, I thought it was a thing. Sure, sure. <laughs> For as long as low melaninated people ex existed. So that was um, the seed. And, and truthfully, I had many other seeds. I had moved at, um, as a child from uh, Europe, Antwerp, Belgium, to um, a small town, Victoria, Texas. And so I learned very quickly the racial dynamics um, in the United States and, um, and was always troubled by, by sure. what I learned. Um, played a role in it, for sure, right. but, but was um, troubled right. as well. Can you go into um, you know into depth in regards to um, the birth of a white nation, how this came to be? Um, take us back in time to you know just give us that narrative sure. so people out there can understand how this came to materialize. Because I was under the impression, um, and I think a lot of people out there may have been under the same impression that um, the idea of being white or whiteness was something that was always. Um, chiseled in time, but we're coming to learn now, and I came to learn based off of reading your book, that that is a canard and it's not true. Well, the notion of, of people with low levels of melanin or Europeans specifically as white people can be found in little, little blips and moments all the way back into the um, 15th century. And sure. the work of Ibram X. Kendi, um, stamped from the beginning, is a wonderful um, exploration that includes information about that. And, um, but what we do know is that when you look at the legal record, that laws did not reference people um, of European descent with low levels of mel melanin as white people until the latter part of the 17th century, and that it took place in colonial North America.